Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. All right, so now that we've talked a little bit about profiles, let's move on to passwords because passwords are managed under each profile. So when you go to a website and you want to sign in and, and I'm going to go ahead and try this. I'm going to go to control T new. I'm going to go to audible.com. Uh, blank. Com. Enter loading page. Audible. Audible. Second list of four collapsed. Visited link. Zero credits available. All right. Collapse. I think Alert. I am signed in, which I page do not want to be, but, um, list of four collapsed visited menu link hi space i'm going to sign out in enter link not elizabeth escape list and net link not elizabeth sign out enter loading all right so i've signed out it happened to remember audible audible.com that i was loading complete all right sorry it's still loading something all right so if i go to this website and i'm not signed in i want to go to sign in virtual find sign enter wrapping to top link sign in space loading page audible.com try audible free to all right so Link for password, password, email or mobile phone number edit. All right, so. Email or mobile phone number edit has pop up elizabeth.whitaker at smoo.edu. Password. All right, let's try this this time. Still uh, loading. And the thing about Edge is has four it events. tells you when it's still loading, which I like. Um, Alert. Save password for www.amazon.com. All right, so Audible is an Amazon company, so that's why, if you think, why, why is it saying Amazon? That's why. Um, so now it asks me if I want to save the password. So yeah, just a couple of things to be aware of in Edge. Even if you don't have a password saved for a specific site, you it, it still may remember that information when you go back and autocomplete. So I'm going to press F6 now. F6, save password for www.amazon.com. All right, so we have two choices, and we can cycle through these using the up and down arrow keys. Save button. We have a save button. Never button. And a never button. So if I choose save, it will save the password in this profile. If I choose never, it's not going to save the password. And when I go back to log in, it won't ask me if I want to save that password either. Save button. So I'm going to choose save. Alert. Password saved. All right. I'm going to exit. Closing tab. Settings Microsoft Edge. All right. So I just closed the tab with control F4. So now I'm back in settings and I want to find passwords. Search settings. Settings. And so I can do that with the letter B. I can also, because password is a button, I can also do a find, which I like to do. I'll press control F. Virtual find. And I'll type password. Password, enter, passwords, passwords button. All right, so here we have a passwords button. And if I press the space bar. Space, settings, go back to profiles page. So you heard it say go back to profiles page. Whenever you're on the profiles page and you go to do something, like passwords or preferences or whatever, there's always a button for going back to that profiles page. All right, so again, we have some headings here. I can press H. Profiles heading level two link slash passwords heading level two. All right, so here we have the passwords dialog and I'm just going to use down arrow here to show you a few of these settings. Breadcrumb navigation search passwords. Here we could search for a password. So if I had a lot of passwords saved and I wanted to find the one that we just saved for Audible, I could type Audible here in the search results. I don't wanna do that, so I'm gonna keep pressing down arrow. Edit, offer to save passwords. So here we have some settings. It's gonna show you how to to whether or not you want Edge to offer to save your passwords. Offer to save passwords automatically if this is selected. You don't need to enter your password before signing into a website using autofill radio button check. So here's some autofill options. So you have you have some different options here for how your passwords are saved. Um, With the once every browsing session, what show the reveal password button in password field checkbox check. Here's a reveal password button. So if this is checked, sometimes when you're saving or when you're logging in there will be a button that says reveal password and if you select that then it will want to it'll actually reveal your password as opposed to having it hidden show alerts when passwords are found in an online leak checkbox check now this is really important so here you can check this box if you want it to show your passwords if they're found in an online leak so like I said, there's just some settings here you can go through. I'm going to go ahead and press the letter T because the, the passwords that I have saved here, they're going to show up in a table. Grid with seven columns and four rows. And here I can press down arrow and you can also press the letter X because each of your saved passwords are going to have a checkbox associated with them. 
Select password for select password for content titers. Select password for Amazon.com. So that's the first one that we have. Select password for content titers. That's another one that I have. Select password for login.microsoftaline.com. And, and there's another one. Wrapping to top. And that's it. I'll, all I have are three. Also, passwords are going to be under a heading, so I can press H. Saved passwords. You never saved heading level three. Saved passwords. You have three saved passwords. Zero leaked. Zero reused. All right. So it tells me I have three saved passwords. So let's go to the one for Amazon that I just saved. Checkbox checked. Select all pass. Select password for Amazon.com. All right. I can select this box, but I don't have to. I want to show you how to edit or remove this password. So if you down arrow here, visited link Amazon edit unavailable Elizabeth dot bullet 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 pa show password button more actions button menu collapse. So again, we have a more actions button menu. I'm going to press space to open that space context menu context menu edit. So we have edit. So if I changed my Amazon password and I wanted to come here and edit it, this is where I would go. Delete three of four D. We have delete hide help four of four copy password one of four. So there are just some other options. I'm going to go down here to delete. Edit, delete, three of four, and D. I'm going to enter. Enter, leaving menus, settings, Microsoft Edge. Work. All right. More, more action, Esc escape, complimentary, re tab, bar, tab, tab, action, settings, virtual PC card. All right, so here we are. Offer to save passwords, checkbox checked. Grid with seven columns and three rows. Saved passwords, you have two saved passwords. And now it tells me I have two saved passwords. So that's how you can save a password and delete it from the list. Now there's also a heading down here that says never. Never save heading level three. So if you've chosen to never save a password for a particular site and you later decide, hey, I really want to go back and save that password, you would come down here and you would find that site. And then you do it the same way we just did the passwords. You would find that site, you would go to the more options button and you would remove it. And then when you go back to the website that you were wanting to log into, it would ask you once again, if you wanna save that password. Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. To stay up to date on upcoming webinars and training events, complete the sign up form at freedomscientific.com forward slash webinars. Thanks again for connecting with us.